everything you post on the internet is permanent. You might think you deleted it, you might think you erased it, but let me tell you today, nothing gets deleted in the internet. Hi guys! Welcome or welcome back to Only Kirote Rebranded. First of all, you guys, if you have not watched my previous video where I fill you in on who Only Kirote is, what's her entrepreneurial journey, please watch that video up here. You're going to enjoy it, you're going to like it, so yeah. So from all the things that have been happening, I just thought to myself, just educate you guys on ways for you to start setting boundaries between your life and the internet life between drawing a line on what is for you and what is for the internet so if you want to learn more on the tips that have helped me stay in line watch this video let's be real i have a very huge challenge with social media have we been able to establish the type of boundaries we should have when it comes to interacting with these social media platforms and if you already know social media has heightened the need for validation for approval social media according to chicago university is an addiction it is even said that it can be more addictive than alcohol and cigarettes and that's why in today's video i'm going to talk about two boundaries that you need to be thinking about every time you're about to interact with these social media platforms one do you have boundaries with what you post on social media is it pretty much all your life is out there with your pictures and videos how much are you allowing yourself to post and two boundaries around the time we spend on social media and spend off social media nowadays you are with your friend you're talking but you're scrolling on your phone you're meant to be with your family but you're scrolling on your phone like it's come to the point whereby people's lives are like this with social media i mean i'm not trying to be negative in any way social media has proven to be damn lucrative guys and also even in my previous week's video i talk about how youtube is good for your business i also interviewed one of our good fellow female youtubers in Kenyan YouTube space miss Shelly so yeah so my first point is decide to actually set boundaries for yourself so when I say what do you post and what do you not post are you comfortable posting your relationship online are you comfortable posting your child are you comfortable posting about your marriage online your personal life your body and every time you post ask yourself fine you might want to post this now but are you posting one because of vanity metrics? And when I say vanity metrics, it's just the approval to see the likes. You know, when I post my face, my selfies, I get more likes. When I post my body in some type of way, I get more likes. Most of us have been in that strain before. I used to be on that train before. But is that really what you want in the long run? And that's why nowadays when I post, I ask myself, if I look at this picture tomorrow, will I appreciate it? If I look at this picture in a month's time, in a year's time, will I regret or will I actually be happy that I took that bold step of posting that picture or posting that cup? think about tomorrow think about your children in future think about everything in general because the internet never deletes anything when it comes to time decide to spend less time on social media and more time in real life don't just be friends with people on social media constantly try and make a point and see them and meet them and know how they're faring according to a research done by Royal Society of Public Health social media is linked to 70% of current cases of anxiety and depression 70 percent but try as much to set boundaries around it so that you can be productive stay in real life do more stuff the second one is define your purpose on social media before you even log in this is me nowadays before i log in i ask myself is it that i'm trying to catch up with a friend is it just for personal interest because i'm bored am i actually trying to do something for my business because now i'm trying to optimize my businesses online be particular staying there for too long it makes you unproductive it makes you very distracted you never even notice when time goes by because you're clearly on autopilot and this is going to lead me to my third point set a timer for your social media escapades before i even click on that app i'm thinking why am i going to this app after that i allocate a time especially if it's something to do with my business sometimes i get carried away because i'm trying to maintain business in different platforms let me give you an example you go you're like ah let me go see how my profile is doing there's a picture i posted let me see how many likes it's gotten so far how many engagements i'm getting and then you go there and then you're like ah i've seen someone has updated her story you click on the story ah they have a post they've tagged so you click on the post and now it's an igtv video or i don't know you're on the explore page and then instagram is very kind enough when you finish whatever you're doing it just recommends the thing that you like and then yo 
time and time goes and you've been sucked right into the social media abyss it's like a black hole and then you snap out of it and look at the time and it's been two and a half hours on social media imagine so sometimes i know i can get too busy and i just decide you know what we're gonna put an alarm clock because we are not about to stay on social media for four hours so it gets to that extent put an alarm clock and a timer and you know when you do that in your head you know 20 minutes one platform 20 minutes one platform 20 minutes like that so that's how you need to be very very intentional when it comes to social media stop checking your phone right before you sleep in messes with your sleep pattern also when you wake up you can't just wake up and the first thing is your phone because i even if you see in my one of my videos it's up here my lazy morning routine i used to wake up and check my phone no lie as i've started doing my research and reading and understanding things like social media that affect my life it's really not good for you now since i've told you the three guidelines on how social media can work best for you without you wasting so much time and being unproductive now i'm going to tell you three best practices that i've been doing that have really skyrocketed my social media relationship <laughs> and one of them is turning off notifications let me tell you that day i woke up i was busy doing my work on the internet and i don't know why that day i just had too many notifications i was just like ding 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 and it's annoying because you your brain i let me tell you i've read about this every time a notification beeps your brain releases dopamine it's excited to see what that is then you see it's a like it gets even excited more and releases more dopamine so your body your brain relies on other people to make dopamine for you so basically other than you creating dopamine from exercise or from reading a book which is beneficial your dopamine is being created because of people liking your pictures so what do you think will happen if you post a picture that doesn't do well exactly you got so annoyed and i was just like why yeah i was just like i've had enough i went to facebook turned all my notifications off instagram turned all my notifications off i just didn't want any notification on my phone so i turned everything off whatsapp everything messages and i remember that day was the most peaceful day i had had in a very long time and the following day i even left my phone because i forgot i had a phone like i was doing things i was with friends i came back i'm like you guys did i have a phone oh yeah i have a phone i've just realized you really don't have to no real-time notifications on your phone every single day someone who liked someone who commented someone who's followed you if i'm in the app itself i give myself time to enjoy my friends content as well but i just don't feel the necessity to keep getting notifications in my phone i just i don't like it two my second thing that is going to help you keep all your social media apps in one folder and not on your home screen unless you're very strong-minded i just created an app called social where all my social media apps are so if i know because i'm also trying to save time and I, I just want them very accessible i come out instagram come out go next youtube come out like they're all in one folder and it's like boom 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 bam so i keep them away from my home screen so that when i'm maybe looking at my phone it's not the first thing i see like you guys imagine when you wake up when you just touch your phone it's the first thing you see all your social media apps obviously you'll be addicted and you want to click so i stop that so but now because i've become more aware with myself and i've really really created strong habits when it comes to social media my apps are actually on the screen and i just look at them and pass them because i know it's not the time to enter social media but when it's the time to enter social media i just go and use them and for my last last point deleting apps you guys i have a rule in my phone if a month passes and i've not used that app then why is it you wasting my phone space why clearly i don't need that app you know and there are those apps you download because are those apps when you're i don't know doing something and then an ad comes of such a nice game and you're like hey, i think i want that game then you play the game and play the game i, think, I don't think i enjoy this game anymore so i i actually get rid of them sometimes i used to hold on and i'm like hey you know maybe i had reached a high score but honestly i really don't need it there, there are more games anyway coming out so i just ditch it and yeah and i move on with my life that's each of my three guidelines on how you can detach yourself from social media addiction how you can set boundaries with social media it's really not hard you really just have to decide honestly speaking and if you really especially want to be productive make your days count and do the most with your 24 hours because you're geared to a certain level of success then you really have to create such boundaries with social media as well that's it for today's video i really appreciate the growth that i'm getting on this channel really appreciate that 
all of you guys who click who comment who like who subscribe i love you guys so much i just want to remind you to start where you are use what you have and most of all do what you can and bye see you on the next video